Hiranori Otsuka Sensei began training in the art of Jiu Jitsu in 1898. His teacher was Nakayama Tatsaburo, the headmaster of Shindo Yoshinryu Jiu Jitsu. Later, he received his Minkyo Kaiden, or Certificate of Full Proficiency, in Shindo Yoshinryu Jiu Jitsu. In 1922, Otsuka Sensei began training under the Okinawan Karate Master Kichen Funakoshi. Later, he combined the teachings of Jiu Jitsu and Karate into his own unique style called Wadoryu Jiu Jitsu Kempo. In 1973, he received the title Meijin Tenth Dan, or Master of Masters. The following techniques are the Kumite Waza of Wadoryu Karate. The original technique is defending against opponent's punch. And the unique turtle step or turtle walking is a feature of these kumite waza or kumite kata. Oska Sensei blocks to the outside of the opponent's attacking arm and then follows up with a counter. Then he shifts to the inside, follows up with a strike, and prepares for a throwing technique. Or, in other words, a throwing technique is implied here. There's the unique turtle walking again by the aggressor. He steps to the outside and prepares for a throwing technique. Here's the same technique from another angle. Note the opponent's turtle walking with a middle level attack. Otsuka Sensei blocks to the outside and then shifts to the inside and finishes up. Otsuka Sensei uses Tai Sabaki or slides to a 45 degree angle to avoid the opponent's attack. Note the ceremonial or stylized way in which these kata are performed. Now this technique is using tai sabaki or body shifting to shift out of the way of the opponent's attack without blocking. This time, the opponent's feet and the defender's feet are reversed. We're in gyaku position, where the attacker has the left foot forward and the defender has the right foot forward.
And again, this is Tai Sabaki, or body shifting to avoid the attack. There is no block. Here it is again from a different angle. Well, this one is a Jodan, or upper level attack, thrusting by the opponent. An inside block is used to perform this technique. Stepping to the outside, so to look at a block, gay down, down block, followed up with a back fist. Sensen no sente. Sensei kōgeki ni deyou to suru aite yori, issun hayaku kōgeki suru no ga sensen no sente. Dewa mazu. So the, so the idea of a sen or attacking first to thwart the enemy's attack or to thwart the enemy's impending attack. Block the kick and follow up with a palm heel to the chin. This is the same idea but going to the inside. This way of doing the two-man kata is derived from the older jujitsu kata. Not only from Shindo Yoshin Ryu, but many different styles of jujitsu. Again, we see a technique that uses tai sabaki, or body shifting, to shift out of the way of the front kick, and then discharging or shoving the opponent away. The idea of pushing the opponent away is so that he cannot use grappling techniques against you. Again, blocking the front kick by simply body shifting out of the way. Sensen no sente, the idea of attacking, attacking using hand techniques but from gyaku no mai, or a, a reverse type of stance, where the opponent has his left foot forward and the defender has his right foot forward. These subtle movements sometimes it's difficult to see exactly what's happening. But again, it's much body shifting involved to execute these techniques.
lock to the outside back fist and follow up with a discharge. Kumite waza sente. Kondo wa kochira kara sente kougeki o kakeru baai. Mazu ai ga mae chudan soto zeme o. There's a chudan attack followed or middle level attack followed by a palm heel to the chin which implies a throwing technique. Tsuite chudan uchi zeme no baai. One more time. Yakugamae, Chudan, Soto Zeme. This is using Shinken or a sharp sword. Offensive techniques or sotouke outside, outside blocking against a tachi or a sword. The opponent draws his sword, and then as he attacks, Otsuka Sensei will step to his left or the outside slightly. Then jumping away and going to ground to avoid the second slash of the sword. This is an important concept in all of these waza or techniques. The idea is body shifting to the outside, shifting away again to uh, displace oneself from the second slashing attack of the sword. This one uses uchiuke, or slipping to the inside this time. And again, the same technique of jumping away to avoid the second slash of the sword. Now the attacker assumes Jodan Kamai, upper level posture, and then attacks. Slipping to the outside, he punches and then jumps away to avoid the second slash. This time the swordsman thrusts or performs ski as he is attack, and Oska Sensei slips to the inside again. Here it is from another angle. Now the swordsman puts his weapon away, or noto, sheathing the sword. And this finishes the form.
also the ceremony of withdrawing the sword and put, placing it in the right hand called Taite. Kote Gaishi. Tanto o motta aite ni tai suru waza no uchi. Kote Gaishi ni hon wo tsuzukete mite mi yo. Now this is defending against a tanto or a dagger. And Osuka Sensei is going to use Kote Gaishi or an outside wrist, wrist lock to throw the opponent. This time he uses a, a front kick or a roundhouse kick to the groin as an atemi waza to set up the technique. Also an outside wrist lock to throw the opponent. Going to ground, then kicking, and then placing or disposing of the opponent by pushing him away. into the outside and then using a returning wave kick behind the opponent's knee and pulling the head down. Actually this technique is uh, prevalent in many different jiu-jitsu styles. Here it is again from a different angle. He avoids ski by stepping to the outside back fist to set it up, pulling the opponent's chin, and then there's the takedown. This is a very effective technique. Finally, in the last kumite waza, Otsuka Sensei blocks and uses an atemi strike to set up Shiho Nage throwing technique. This concludes the Kumite Waza of Wado Ryu Karate.
So, about two magnitudes.
is starting to go. Thank you for watching the best of Wadoryu Karate. For Yamazato Productions, this is George Alexander speaking. Arigato gozaimashita. Sayonara.